Traffic backups, bottlenecks, and brake lights, headaches every driver deals with. If you ask Hillsborough County residents what they hate most, traffic most likely tops the list. The transportation referendum number two aimed at fixing ailing roadways, sidewalks, potholes, and expanding public transit. The group All for Transportation is urging voters to pass a one cent sales tax increase that would raise the needed funds for those desperately needed improvements. We launched AFT because um, our transportation system had been underfunded for decades and status quo was just not an option anymore. Transportation is more than just moving people from one place to another. It's really about giving people the foundation for upward economic mobility. I think Hillsborough County was really at a, at a pivotal, pivotal point. We were running out of time to start the solution required now that was going to make things better in the near future. The whole story of this campaign is that a few people got in a room and then a few more people and then a few hundred people and then 50,000 people signed a petition and then 282,000 people voted yes. In Florida, counties are allowed to levy a one cent sales tax. That sales tax can be levied one of two ways. The county commission can put it on the ballot or the citizens can petition and try to add a referendum to the ballot themselves, which is exactly what All for Transportation did. The plan that we came up with was a 30 year one cent sales tax that was divided somewhat evenly between roads and public transit, 54% to roads, 45% to transit with that remaining 1% going to uh, planning. We needed to collect over 50,000 petitions from across all of Hillsborough County and get a team together of, of canvassers and petitions because we had a very short amount of time to get it done. And once we were on the ballot, then we um, undertook the challenge of going across the entire county to let people know how important this was. And so a goal-oriented plan is what this ended up being, and that really resonated with people because they're tired of hearing about projects that may or may not get built, but they're really interested in hearing about how we're going to save lives, make it easier for them to get to work, and just repair potholes. I think we were really able to paint our opposition as the status quo itself, and, and since really no one could defend that, I think that was a really big strategic advantage for us. It, it was a real compromise, balanced plan, and those aren't always the most exciting, um, but it was the right thing to do for a county as, as diverse as Hillsborough. What was our biggest challenge was also, I think, one of our big successes, which was being able to communicate with everyone across Hillsborough County and what the offer transportation plan would bring for them. What we needed to do was bring people together and invite people in. I think too often people are afraid that if you invite people in, they're just going to say, hey, we don't like what you're, what you're selling. But that's important too, because if you do that, you'll learn something. Because there's no way we pass this without losing in 2010 and learning the lessons from that. This wasn't an engineering or a technology issue, it was really a money issue. We weren't funding the projects that we know we needed to do. I think we had over $9 billion in backlog and transportation projects. We've turned a corner towards a vision of our community that is better for everybody and that works for everybody. In the past, everything was top down. This was something where we brought people together from the bottom up, we invited everybody in who wanted to be a part of it and pass a plan that already existed. The one I'm most excited about, though, Jimmy, is actually a proposition on the ballot in Hillsborough County, which is kind of Tampa in and Florida. Florida, yeah, sure. Uh, that's $300 million a year for 30 years to fix the damn roads, to get some public transportation built. Um, because as Washington has this kind of charade about what politics really is, I think real people want actual things to pass. And Bob Buckhorn, who's the mayor of Tampa, amazing guy and a huge coalition passed that. That's $9 billion. Yeah, I wouldn't be rooting for that. For, if I was you, I'd want traffic in every other city to be worse than yeah, L.A. Yeah, yeah. Because there <laughs> seems to be no way to make it better <laughs> here. But yeah. if it was worse everywhere else, no one would complain. I think our biggest success was the victory itself. I mean, we didn't just win by a few votes. We won with 57% of the vote. It was nearly a 20 point swing from the last time anybody even tried to put this on the ballot. It's going to be nothing short of transformative when this funding is in place. And it's gonna take time. These systems are not built overnight, but we've really turned a corner in Hillsborough County. Our public transportation funding was um, was, was pretty abysmal. I mean, we were, we were on par with um, 
places like Macon, Georgia, uh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, which are you know, great, great places, but to actually fund and to do the things required to achieve that type of ambition that we've had for ourselves, those aspirations we have for ourselves, that, that takes a lot more work. Uh, and it was you know, a real, real honor to play a small part in um, helping get that done in 2018.